Madison, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I tack up for cross country. First things first, of course, is I'm going to put my saddle pad on Penelope. I use the Eco Gold Secure cross country pad and I love it so, so, so much. Eco Gold pads are by far my favorite and I highly, highly recommend them. I also show jump in one too. Then I'm going to be putting my saddle and my girth on Penelope. Yes, I probably should be using not a fleece girth. However, it's not like we're going through bushes and this is currently the only girth that I have that works with my breastplate. So before champs, I need to get a new one um, that has the front clip for my breastplate. So I'm just going to do upper girth. I use my first and third billets and I only put my back billet through the billet holder on my saddle pad just because um, with the way the saddle pad ends up moving on Penelope, I feel like it works the best. Then I'm going to be slipping Penelope's breastplate over her head. I believe this is the whores, pony, running martingale, and breastplate combo. So the running martingale attachment can be detached. I strictly use my um, running martingale only for the purpose of losing my reins cross country. When going down down banks and things like that, it's awesome to have a running martingale attached, which ensures that my reins cannot fall over Penelope's head. So if I drop them, they're going to be right where I left them on her neck. So I'm going to be clipping up her breastplate. Her breastplate clips to my D-rings and the ring on my girth. Next up, I'm going to be putting on Penelope's jump strap. I use a C4 belt as a jump strap, which I've gotten a lot of comments on, like that's strange, but that's awesome and really creative. I found this idea from, I don't totally remember who, who. it may have been Charlotte Collier, either way. I love this. It's just grippy and thick and washable and it's like, and I mean, it's cute too, but the new rules state that um, jumping straps have to be secured in some way, whether that's to your saddle, to your breastplate, to your horse's mane, somehow they need to be secured so that they cannot slip around the horse's ears or they could get a foot caught in them. So I just use yarn and I wrap it twice through my breastplate ring and over my jumping strap. I use yarn because it can be easily cut, it's cheap, and it blends in with your neck as opposed to using something like baling twine. It would be bright orange and ugly. I've also seen people braid them into their horse's manes. I'm not totally sure how you do that, but I really like this idea of using yarn. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to be putting on Penelope's cross country boots. I use the white Magic Keep sport boots and I love them so much. I have them in a size pony or small, but I probably should get a pair of mediums for Penelope's back. I love these boots so, so, so much. They are made without neoprene and neoprene is what is used in wetsuits and keeps heat in. So I love how these boots are washable, super cute and functional, but also don't keep heat in. They also repel water which is awesome, or I don't know if repel is the right word, but they don't hold water like fleece would. And of course the white is an awesome little touch of color, and I highly recommend these boots if you are looking for some new cross country boots. Next, I'm going to be putting my electrical tape on Penelope boots. I always do electrical tape just because it's a cute little touch of color. I do blue on top and red on bottom just like my shirt and pant combination. I wear my blue shirt with my red pants. I Some people use electrical tape to keep your horse's boots on, which should not be the purpose. I use them to secure the Velcro down. Not that I'm worried that the Velcro is going to come off but just as like a precautionary me measure in case the Velcro gets hit against something, it's not gonna come off because of the tape on top of it.
next up, I'm going to be putting on my spurs. I use these tiny little baby spurs only for cross country with Penelope. She's obviously very forward and feisty, but it's just nice to have a little extra moment of encouragement if I need it. If she's feeling a little distracted or nervous cross country, I can just keep her between my legs and prevent her from jigging out or falling out through her shoulders with these. Then I'm going to be putting on my jumping vest. This is just the black and tech jumping vest that I've had for years. It is, of course, really important to wear jumping vests cross country, and they are mandatory, but I highly recommend that you use them even when you're schooling, just to keep your back and spine and tailbone and neck, all of that safe. Then I'm going to be putting on my number holder. Of course, for cross country, some way, you need to attach your numbers to your chest, and I use the Shires one that I really like. I love the straps, and I've used this thing, I think, every single venting show I've ever ridden. Next, I'm going to be putting on my helmet. This is the Charles Owen. I believe this is the Pro 2 skull cap. I attach my GoPro underneath my helmet cover, and I find that it blends in really nicely and does not look too bulky. Absolute favorite gloves are from Mikkel. I have all sorts of colors and styles of gloves from Mikkel that I show and school in. So if you are looking for a new pair of gloves, I highly recommend Raquel's. I love the white for cross country just because it kind of ties my whole look together and matches everything else. Next, it is bridal time for Penelope for show jumping and cross country. I just use a Boucher bit. There is a lot of controversy as to whether this bit is a snaffle or has leverage. Going back to my Pony Club roots, I do believe this is a leverage bit, but it is the most gentle leverage bit you could, or that exists. Um, I could probably get away with using a snaffle on her just fine, but she really has come to like the mouthpiece and the ring setup of this bit, I realized. And it's taken some time to figure out what works for her just because when I got her when she was five, she was super sensitive to the mouth. So we had her in rubber mullen mouths and happy mouths and all sorts of things. And finally, we've come to the conclusion that this is what she really likes. Um, of course, figure eights are widely, widely used um, cross country and show jump nose bands. They are positions that your horse's airways and nostrils are not obstructed and allows them to breathe as much as they need to on cross country. Now, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Now it's time to go ride.